Who is the worst member of the Fellowship of the Ring in Lord of the Rings? I'm not even going to hang you over the edge for this one. It's Boromir. Merry and Pippin can be a little airheaded, but Boromir is going to steal your stuff. And then Daddy Boromir is going to blame the Fellowship and cause some kind of midlife crisis political issue in which the army of men are not in the right place in the right time. It's really easy to dismiss the worst two hobbits as useless as far as the Fellowship goes. But I think that in general belongs to Ned Stark because Mary single-handedly devised the downfall of Isengard and Saruman while Pippin was staring off into space, Mary realized if he guided Treebeard back to where Saruman was digging into Fangorn Forest, Treebeard's gonna lay his eyes on it, start foaming at the mouth, and become the angriest tree to ever be. He's extremely angry someone dared to mow his lawn, the opposite of the giving tree. The way Mary was able to finesse that almost makes him a politician for the Shire. He was able to successfully lobby for free military help unseen allies and then he even ollie ooped the death of the witch king <laughs> while pippin did trigger the chain of events that left gandalf humbling towards the center of the earth with the balrog fool of a took i think it does even out because pippin guarded gandalf's blind spot it would have been so embarrassing for gandalf to get got by a common orc right there on the last battle pippin also did a few more chores he lit the fires of gondor denethor didn't want to light them putting gandalf up to his eyeballs and bureaucratic sludge he had to utilize a little bit of hobbit infiltration to move the armies of men pippin also looked into the crystal ball in a very curiosity kills the cat kind of way providing the distraction they needed as Sauron thought that Pippin was Frodo. Evidently, he thinks all hobbits look the same. And it didn't occur to anyone else to look into those crystal balls and pull the old trick a on Sauron. <laughs> and then Pippin stops the needless waste of a Gondor politician's life. He's burning Boromir alive! He uses the snitch method. They might have needed Boromir's little brother to help ease the change of leadership in Gondor once Aragorn takes the crown. As for Boromir, all he tried to do was steal and sweat bullets in front of Galadriel because he was thinking about stealing. The second string hobbits performed well and they got their reward. Not only do they get some of that orc liquor, they got to enjoy salted pork and long bottom leaf in the flooded storages of Isengard, all up in Saruman's personal stash. Salted pork is particularly good. This is exactly why the dwarves categorized Bilbo as a thief based on Bilbo being a hobbit. And despite Bilbo's protest, he assured the dwarves that he wasn't a thief, but somehow he kept walking out of caves with golden horcruxes in his pocket. That's how we're in this problem to begin with. Merry and Pippin certainly felt life when they were drinking ant drafts in the Fangorn Forest. Helped them grow a little bit more. Apparently, the ants have two types of these drinks. They keep them in river basins. At a glance, you might think it's tree sap or tree water flowing down. But really, they're stone basins. Supposedly, only river water and possibly a few things mixed in. One type of draft is supposed to nourish. The other type of draft is supposed to refresh. After drinking them... The ants like to pass out and they don't like to rise immediately. Merry and Pippin tried the draft and it made them grow taller. I imagine it looks like liquid gold. Maybe it appears like apple juice. Certainly, Merry and Pippin ended up being the tallest hobbits when they got back home and they created the Hobbit Basketball Association. Boromir got clapped by an orc. Why can't we have some meats? <laughs>